When Val Cooper from Taysborough found out she needed a kidney transplant, her second chance came from 11,000 miles away. Her sister, who lives in New Zealand, volunteered to fly over and donate one of hers. Val has polycystic kidneys, a hereditary condition which stops them from functioning. She was operated on at Addenbrooke's in 2010 after she received a very important phone call. My husband and son and I were out for lunch one day up in North Norfolk and I got a phone call from the transplant coordinator in from Addenbrooke's telling me that my sister was coming over and she was going to sort of donate her kidney and uh, it was sort of wow <laughs> couldn't believe it when when i found out about it new figures have been released this week showing that val is one of nearly 700 people in norfolk who have been kept alive by an organ transplant but across the uk over 6000 people are still waiting for one around 350000 people are on the nhs organ donor register in the county but val's plea is to get everyone signed up I was extremely lucky, my sister, part of my family, she donated to me. Um, but there's a lot of people who don't have that option, really. So it, it's extremely important for people to go on an organ donation list. Val has just come back from competing in the World Transplant Games in Malaga, where she was amongst over 200 competitors for Team GB. She won two gold medals for badminton and a bronze for table tennis. I suppose it's similar to the Paralympic Games where we can all still have a life after transplant and it's getting bigger and bigger every year. Everyone's got their own stories, their own experiences and you, you all come together and are you a kidney or liver? Or <laughs> That's the kind of conversations you have. Before the transplant, a day of gardening would leave Val exhausted and heading straight to bed. And she would be needing dialysis at hospital three hours a day, four times a week. Now, with her new start, she can live a full and busy life. Thousands of others aren't so lucky, though, and are on the list for transplants, hoping and waiting for the ultimate gift. Christina Brinkley, Mustard TV, Taysborough.